Well, good morning again, and uh, from wherever you are in the world, it's another fantastic day here on the Gold Coast. Welcome to Moonshot 10, which I've titled a Circle of Influence, and um, I'm trusting that those of you who have been following my Moonshot episodic revelations, that you've seen that there's a path that I'm taking you on and asking you to follow on your path to discovery uh, and to identifying and becoming your highest self and delivering peak performance in your areas of life. So today I was thinking about the last month in sports and there's been some fantastic sports events worldwide but those that I've watched and I wanted to, to chat about two of those were when South Africa upset the All Blacks in a fantastic match that demonstrated the ability to change despite challenge. So here we have a team who in the last 15 years have not defeated the All Blacks coming from South Africa. And the All Blacks at eight to one favorites, or at least that. And they were defeated only once in their last 57 games. So a 56 to one record and playing on their home soil in Wellington. Yet this team from South Africa decided that this was the day, this was the day they were going to end that, this is the day they were going to change that. And looking at the statistics after the game, they made a whopping 226 defensive tackles against an All Blacks onslaught, and only had you know, almost one third of the ball in attacking position. New Zealand, conversely, only made about 46 tackles from the South African onslaught. So here you've got a team who's coming out against the champions, against all odds, against uh, what might seem to be an insurmountable force, and mounted an overwhelming defensive pattern which stopped the attack. So despite challenges, <coughs> that you're going to have and that you expect to have in your life if you're going to grow, know that you've got to face them. And it's how you face them, resilient, steadfast, and with an outcome that you want to change the game, change the world, change the results. And the other is, in the weekend was an NRL final, that's a National Rugby League final for those who are in Australia, is possibly the, one of the biggest events for the year. In this grand final, again, you had an underdog team in the Sydney Roosters coming out against the Melbourne Storm. And they, I believe, also were 8-1 to one favourites to win with the experience and uh, you know, being champions in this league for a number of years. Yet Sydney collected their elite athletes and identified specific roles and had them play at specific times and won in particular, became the marshal or the general for these forces. And they again completely disrupted the Melbourne game. Melbourne really didn't have an attack that could penetrate through the defence of Sydney. And Sydney, when they could, they definitely took advantage of there. So where is this heading? What am I talking about? Well, the people that are around you have specific roles in your business life, in your cultural life, and in your relationships. So let's look about that. Since primitive existence, humankind has sought for acceptance and inclusion by a tribe or a group that shared the same interests and safety and welfare as we do. And so we become attracted and associate with those who either feed or protect us. Nature has that as well. And there's a region that's about a 40,000 kilometre area um, rimming the Pacific Basin. And in the last month, they too, that area has had some overwhelming and newsworthy and change-making evidences. So there have been approximately 70 earthquakes in the last month in this ring of fire the seismic activity area with tectonic movements and volcanic activity. In fact, this region has about 452 volcanoes in it. So this ring of fire is a little like 
the type of social model that successful people maintain as they grow. Jim Rowan said that you're, you're the outcome or the result of the closest five people to you. Now, your group might not be five, it might be more, it might be less, but these are the people who hold you to be successful. And these are the people that help you to maintain and grow yourself individually. These are the people you have the, the closest and deepest conversations with. These are the people that you have the greatest inspiration from and who you share and seek the most trust from and with. And like nature, at times we need to stretch and move our boundaries to explore new hemispheres, to, to push into new areas. And that brings us to implementing massive transformation. So the close group that you have socially is one thing. That's that's a tribe that you need for your support network, and that's fine. But the things that I'm talking about today are to identify those who will be will become the select and skilled vanguard of performance-driven, challenge-seeking supporters and drivers. Those who will challenge your thinking, not not just yes people. Those who will have you think more, think deeper. Drive yourself. They'll hold you accountable to your behaviour and help you to navigate some of the depth or seas and some of the wild and dense vegetation and expansive deserts of these challenges that you'll go through as you push forward on your path to discovering your growth. The, the journey that you have will require new behaviours and will require new thought patterns. So the circle of influence that you have should and must to have impact evolve with the challenges that you take on so the new members that you need to be bringing in at different stages of your relationship growth or your community growth or your family particularly in your business growth has to evolve so that the skill sets that you're seeking exceed the challenges before you so in some like volcanoes you'll use them for some eruptive activity get things moving but then they'll lay dormant for a while or possibly for the rest of your relationship others like the tectonic plates that move with friction to cause new growth to cause new formations to cause new patterns to form new change all of those that you associate with you must develop an interactive role with in this process of looking to maintain the directional momentum that you need to have in your life. But I'm going to ask you to actively, actively look to construct and effect an environment that has planned identity for what will be the thoughts, the ideas, the personalities that you will allow to take seed in the garden of your mind. Time is the most precious element that you've got, so invest the time to research and study those who are doing the things that you want to be doing, who are achieving the success that you want to achieve, and inject their behaviour and instill in your, your life the characteristics and patterns that they have applied to allow their success so that you likely will increase your likelihood and the returns of similar results in your life. So surround yourself with those who encourage your purpose, who validate the values that you have, and who will help to educate you in your contribution to the world, but reciprocate when it is that you have the opportunity to help and uplift of others. There's a, uh, there's a quote that I like from Huffington Post, so just let me read it to you so I don't get this wrong. Choose your company wisely. Be relentless with surrounding yourself with those who will bring out the best in you. Your direction in life will depend on it. And while you're at it, have the courage to be a good friend to those who choose you. We learn that it's pointless and time-consuming to reinvent the wheel. And Roger Hamilton uses the analogy of a parachute. Why climb the mountain when you can parachute on top of it? If there are those that you can learn from, you need to find those people. You need to surround yourself with those people. You need to learn from those people. Read about them. Study about them. Involve them. Follow them. Interact with them. Have them mentor you. If you're a 
doing this, then you're going to be achieving more. So create your own circle of influence, your own ring of fire, so that you can sustain your journey and move yourself forward. Till next week, live, love, and serve.